water hockey is spreading step by step in the whole wide world and some countries are catching the wave, that's the case of South Korea. Pretty new in the sport, the country only has one club located in the capital, Seoul. But how underwater hockey arrived in South Korea? Well, yeah, it's more or less me. I, I try to spread the word here. It's a wonderful sport, but it seems like people doesn't really know about underwater hockey yet. So I just wanted to do my best to promote the sport. My friend introduced uh, he uh, introduced this uh, sport, and I, I I'm very uh, shocked, and it's uh, very fun. That's why I uh, joined that sport. Yeah. Yeah, so basically I pulled her into the sports. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I do. If there's a people around me, I'll just gonna briefly talk about underwater hockey. And then it actually takes some time to get used to the sport. But once they really get engaged, they love it. Obviously, each club encounters some difficulties at their beginning. And the same applies for this one. But one of them is because of the legislation of the state. Yeah, of course, uh, pool comes our um, first obstruction all the time because most of the pool here in Korea is very shallow and renting the pool is also another challenge and people don't really know about the sport so they refrain to hear about new sport and they think it's dangerous but it's actually the contrary. Uh, if we uh, using uh, that kind of depth, uh, like uh, 5 meters more or 3 meter meters more, we have uh, some uh, certification actually. But uh, these days uh, we can, uh, uh, this pool uh, can be only one we can use uh, without any certification. Yeah. This club generally counts around 8 players in it, but exceptionally during this training, only 3 of them were here, so our team friendly participated in their training. Despite that, Edward and his friends got the hope of the players increasing and do everything to bring more people into the underwater hockey mania. So, yeah, uh, we use a lot of uh, SNS, Instagram, and YouTube, trying to upload different uh, materials. And uh, since we just began from May, it's a li little challenging. But I think uh, slowly people begin to understand it's not really a dangerous sport, and um, it's actually a very attractive sport. But unless they try it, they will never know how it feels like. Yeah. Uh, it would be best if we could have more friends who could play the sport with us. And other than that, if uh, underwater if, if underwater hockey eventually becomes a uh, you know world renowned world Olympic category, it would be fantastic. Other than that, government support or any interest sponsorship, any of that would help. Right now, it's just us trying to gather you know different pieces. The road to the possible Olympics will be long and hard, but to prepare the future, recruiting young players seems the best idea. So aiming at students would be useful, but does it really work for them? So that's uh, also another act I was trying. There are a lot of foreign schools with pools and universities, they, they might be uh, interested. But I mean, I've been sending a few emails out and then it's been about three years. I've been sending out random emails for sponsorships and schools, but yeah, so far no achievement yet. Yeah. A big road is ahead of this club, but they really have the will to make underwater hockey bigger in South Korea and be on the international scene as soon as possible. Yeah, so, I mean, since we just started, I don't expect a lot in maybe two or three years, but eventually I think Korea will take bigger part, even uh, world competitions and maybe international matches. So, definitely, yes. <laughs> Maybe 10 years, maybe we got more friends to join this sport because many of my friends to introduce that sport, they really wanted to join this sport. And also, 
uh, many people come to uh, come to join this sport and then they uh, feel uh, fun. But the complicated things, I think uh, they they need more time to uh, enjoy that sport. I think. I expect underwater hockey to be one of the major sport in Korea. Most of the pools, not on, not only the diving pools, and with the professional athletes, you can see there are a lot of divers. There are more than maybe 12,000 divers, so there are huge potential, and people are very active and uh, athletic. So once we have enough uh, recognition, I think it'll come naturally. Yeah. So same question for you. What where do you see underwater hockey in 10 years? To your mind? That's why with the spirit of Edward Kim and his friends, South Korea might be an important underwater hockey country in the future. Looks like there is finally some action in the land of the morning calm.